Welcome to Whiskey's Journey. My name is Peter Fasiano, and you guys are watching my channel segment called Sip It or Skip It. I have all of my whiskeys in my collection randomized on my phone. I'm going to spin the wheel, pull it off the shelf, do a quick review, and let you guys know if I'm going to sip on the bottle until it's gone and replace it, or if I'm going to skip it when the bottle's gone and move on to something else. Let's spin the wheel and see what we're doing today. Ooh, where are we at? We got Knob Creek Single Barrel, Barrel Nine? Knob Creek Single Barrel, Nine Year. Let me go ahead and pull this off the shelf, pour it. Let's talk about it a little bit. All right, I must have just typed it in wrong. This is Knob Creek Nine. This is a single barrel reserve, nine years, as the plane is flying over. Let's go ahead and pour this. <laughs> it's a healthy pour for 120 proof. All right, let's get this on the nose. Nutty, right off the bat, nutty. A little high proof, obviously coming in at 120. Get a little bit of a spice there to it as well. Slight cherry. And all the information for the whiskey is right here as well. Let's get it on the palate, see what's going on with this. Immediately I get cherry on the palate, nice really high ABV. It, it's not overpowering, but it's letting you know it's there. There's a sweetness all the way through from the front of the palate all the way to the back. My immediate reaction is this is exceptional. This is very good. Let's get that second sip down. All right, on that second sip, get a little bit more of that barrel char or the barrel influence, a little tannin on the side of the tongue. Typically my second sip and third sip, I get more of the barrel influence. No different here. That cherry note is consistent. The finish is rather long. The nuttiness that I'm getting on the nose is not really necessarily coming through on the palate. And for me, that's a good thing. I don't think I am necessarily on the nuttier side of the profiles here, but this is not that bad. The more that I'm talking and the more that this vapor is moving around in my mouth, I'm getting more and more of a cherry note. The spice is there as well. I'm getting a little bit of a cinnamon note. And along with the cherry, I'm also getting a little bit of caramel, maybe caramel and brown sugar. This is really, really good. And also let you guys know, since I was down with the sickness, this is my first drink that I've had in about two and a half weeks. So that's also something that might, might be influencing my palate because I've been pretty much dry for the past week and a, two and a half weeks. That it's nutty and cherry on the nose. Let's get that third sip down, and I think I know what I'm gonna do for a sip or a skip. That's interesting. I have my mouth closed, and I pick up nutty. I open my mouth, and now I'm getting that nutty cherry. Interesting. All right, let's get that third sip, and let's get onto the sip or the skip. Yeah, cherry, nutty, caramely, brown sugar, really nice ABV. This one, is a sip for me. I have a couple of Knob Creek expressions and of the three or four that I have, the Single Barrel Reserve 9, I believe is ranking up there with the best of them. If you guys have any experience with the Knob Creek 9, let me know in the comments down below. Knob Creek in general, what are your thoughts? Are you a nutty profile person or do you like those more traditional? Actually, I can't say that they're more traditional. If you were liking more of the cherry, honey, caramel, brown sugar side of it, or do you actually like the nuttiness? Knob Creek Jim Beam product? I think Jim Beam product is uh, is Knob Creek. There you go. This is another sip for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this segment. Let me know what you guys think about Knob Creek or any of the Jim Beam products. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you're liking this information, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you're so inclined. Share this with somebody in the whiskey world that might get enjoyment out of it. And until the next time, enjoy your journey. We'll talk to you later. Bye.